start the individual on my left. Alderman at large, Kevin Stewart. Uh, Alderman Ward 3, Sydney Stingham. Jennifer Bergman, City Administrator. Tanya Hillman, City Finance Director. David Chansky, Community Development Director. Teresa Berg, Greater Dispatch. Chris Schubert, HR Director. Tim Holmes, online. <laughs> You're the same space. space. <laughs> Johnson, committee chair. All right, that brings us to item number one authorization to donate old fire equipment. Go ahead, Tim. Good evening. Thank you very much. So, this just is just a request to um, authorize a donation of some old uh, fire equipment that we have. Um, with the recent upgrade of um, our SCBAs, um, they will be out of date by the end of the year. Um, these are, this is a piece of equipment that we use on a really regular basis, but the department requesting them um, would maybe use them, you know, a dozen times a year or less probably. Um, so I think this is just a good way for us to um, get rid of them, first of all, and then get them to a department that um, certainly could, could use the help. Um, they're... Um, not new, obviously they're outdated for us. They are nearing the end of their life, but it's still better than what they're currently using. So um, this would be just authorization to no, to no, <clears throat> excuse me, to donate them to uh, the Ironton Fire Department um, and then uh, go through Joe for the um, release on those, just acknowledging that they're acknowledging that they are near the end of their life and may need some service. And our recommendation to them would be that they get them um, professionally serviced by a vendor before putting them in service. I'm ready for a motion. Okay, I make a motion to authorize Chief Holmes to donate all fire equipment SCBAs to another department, which is going to be Ironton, along with all of the other services. Second. We have a motion and a second. Any questions of the fire chief or discussion on the motion? Seeing none, we'll vote by, by voice vote. All in favor say aye. Aye. Opposed aye. say sign. That motion carries. Thank you, Tim. Thank you. Thank you. That brings us to number two authorized promotion of Stephanie Bestil to Administrative Specialist 2. Chris David. All right. Okay, Mr. Chair. Uh, January 4th, the City Council authorized the motion of James Comet to the assistant planner position. Then authorized staff to begin the hiring process to back the list position as an administrative specialist two. Then it'd be uh, strictly a permanent technician. Uh, we did identify working with uh, HR Director Schubert. We did identify a certain city staff members uh, as having a qualification to serve this position. So we initially posted the position internally. Pretend their working days as required by the IBEW Administrative Support Union. Uh, Stephanie Bessel, she did submit an application for the position. Uh, myself and building official Lisa, we reviewed her credentials and then sat down and had a meeting with her to discuss the position, our expectations, any questions that she might have, and see if it really is kind of a good fit for both the community development department as well as Ms. Bessel. Um, after having that meeting, both myself and building officials, I believe that she would be a great asset to the community development department and are requesting that the city council authorize her promotion to administrative specialist two effective February 2nd, to, uh, 2021. Um, so, the background of how Stephanie served as administrative specialist for the finance department. Uh, one of the reasons we felt that she would be a good fit for this is because she does. Mm -hmm. Currently, do some duties uh, for the community development part, specifically planning commission minutes, helping with the packet, uh, doing mailings for public uh, public hearing notices and things like that. Um, also, when Lori Johnson retired back in the August of 2019, she was cross trained to help with the issuance and intake of building permits at that time. So she is also familiar with some of the functions of the of the department. Um, we are recommending. Uh, that should her promotion be to step six, administrative specialist to wage grid is 2686 per hour. Step five, not six, sorry. Thank you for the correction. I can't be. I know she's got a raise. Step five, oh, six, step six, kind of something weird. Step five, 
Um, the reason we are, or we are uh, requesting this is that uh, staff placement promotions in the employee policy manual states that promoted employees will generally start at the lowest step that has been higher than the raise the employee received in his or her previous position with the city. Except that currently makes 2574 per hour, uh, which is actually the same uh, way to step four of the administrative specials too, so it be just, uh, wouldn't make any increase. Um, so therefore, staff are recommending that we put her at step five, which is the lowest step at a higher rate than she's currently. So, okay. any questions? Does anybody have a question? I, I have one question, just that you have two recommended actions. Is there a reason this would need to be two separate motions? Um, it doesn't have to be two motions. It just thought maybe it was easier to clarify it by having it, those separated out. So. And then we have obviously Connie and Chris down here to talk about the second piece on their plan for it. Obviously, right, so the second piece is piece. simply backfilling seven. Mm-hmm. And the intent here is too is also by promoting Stephanie, there's some benefits to that as well. Um, one of the community development funds continues to spread the cross training across other positions. So there's a lot of coverage that can happen um, because of obviously James was serving in her position. He's going to be influencing training her and she's out. He can step in. There's just a lot of cross training that can happen. Additionally, with Stephanie coming downstairs, she will continue to do things like the, like the, the planning commission minutes. Um, so right now, 25% of Stephanie's wage is budgeted in the community development department. And the 25% for the administrative specialist position finance would not need to be budgeted there. So that so we can say about 25% of the time would go back to administration to be used for what else they need to do. So extended more work for um, and Jennifer right now. Okay. I'm gonna put them both together. I move to authorize the promotion of Stephanie Vestal to Administrative Specialist 2 at Step 5 and to authorize the staff to conduct a hiring process to that position. You guys were my last hope, by the way. I kept telling the staff they were going to come back. So. <laughs> 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 so, 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 <laughs> we have a motion and a second. Any discussion on it? No, I should have said that. Sorry. <laughs> Hearing out of a vote, all in favor say aye. 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 Opposed, same sign. And that Mr. motion carries. Mr. Chair, before you, before you move on, I just a couple of comments, and I'm sure Connie was second this. We, we are excited for staff. This is mm-hmm. a really good thing for her. We are sad for us. Um, she has done an amazing job. Um, you get your packets from her, you know, just tracking boards and commissions. I mean, doing all the things that staff does behind the scenes that, you know, kind of nobody notices. It's like she's a harpy. Of the city, but the one thing that I, I kind of found interesting, and Chris, I know you just rattled off this number in an email. How many promotions we have done in the city in the last 12 months? Um, oh, since 2019. I think it's been, has it been 11 or 14? But it, it, we've had a lot of promotions. And we have a lot of good luck promoting from the city. Yeah. And I think that really reflects well on the city. Um, that people want to move up and stay within the city, and then we get that experience as they move up too. And then for people coming in, realizing that there may be advancement opportunities for new employees. So this I is just, a very good opportunity for staff. I'm coming to you, but I've been razzing her for a good couple of weeks now. Do so you really want to do this? Are you <laughs> sure? And so I told her, you know what? We have one more step. With that. We have one more step. That's happening. So I'm excited for her, but bum for us because. She just adds so much to our atmosphere in our office that even though she's one more floor down, it's still going to be different. So. Mm-hmm. But okay. happy for David. Yep. I think anytime you can promote within the city, government is still and it sends morale right through the system. And then we're training the people the right way to be able to promote. Mm-hmm. So it's always a good thing. Says the guy who was promoted from what? <laughs> <laughs> So that brings us to item number three, consider a tentative agreement for IUOE Street 2021-22 union contract terms. Chris, Jennifer. I didn't realize David was going to do that. So with the package, we have the tentative agreement 
basically the terms that we have reached with our street department, it is a two and a half percent pull up for both the legacy and the grid wage options. Um, we have discussed this in closed session. Um, this is where we reached and um, the union has voted for this group voted on January 14th and did approve these terms of terms. Okay, we've got a number of closed sessions discussing it. You have a motion, Kevin? Yeah, I have a motion to approve the attached 2021-2022 tentative agreement summary between the city and IUOE, local 49th Street Department, and adopt the attached resolution setting the I. UOE Street Department wages for 21 22. We have a motion and a second. I have one question regarding back to the January 1st on this. As far as the wages, yes, the retroactive. Yeah. Okay, good. Any other discussion or questions? And the back pay will be done until the February 18th payroll, <laughs> just because we need to get these all signed by the union as well. And just more time for us, which I really like. <laughs> You're nice and bonus. Seeing no other discussion, we'll vote. All in favor say aye. Aye. Opposed, same sign. That motion carries. Let's move to the next item. Number four, consider tentative agreement with IUOE Parks 2122 Union Contract Terms. Chris? Same thing. Two and a half percent cola for both legacy and the grid option. The tentative agreement terms are attached. Any questions are directed to January 1st. That pays the same. Uh, I move to approve the attached tentative agreement summary and adopt the attached resolution to the IUOB department wages for 2021 and 2022. Second. Motion and second. Any discussion? Hearing none, we'll vote. All in favor say aye. 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 Opposing sign. That motion carries. It brings us to our final item, number five, our annual review over the investment policy. Aye. So we um, review our investment policy annually at the first meeting in February. Um, there's no changes except for, I cannot believe all these years, and I did not notice this, but it said city, or said tell me instead of city. There's one little typo right there. You, know, you don't recreate the wheel, you copy from another entity when you first start these. And um, yeah, so I, I apologize that that has been like that for years, but that's the only change. Oh, well, I gotta tell everybody. Yeah. Else. <laughs> I, 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 I said we misspelled city and now it's spelled properly. You know, and he suggested, except for one tiny correction, where's this county instead of city? Yeah. <laughs> so, really, um, you know, our investment policy is, is limited by state statute and what we can invest in. We definitely don't go and invest in hedge funds. We had a, a discussion a little bit. I was asking if we could invest in GameStop. <laughs> I saw that over the weekend when they were talking about GameStop. I'm like, hey! Yeah. <laughs> they lost like 30% today. Don't invest in it. <laughs> so, okay. I make a motion to approve the investment policy as presented with the change. <laughs> Second. We have a motion and a second. Any discussion? Hearing none, we'll vote. All in favor say aye. I oppose same sign. That motion carries. Anything else for the committee to consider tonight? Hearing none, we are adjourned at 7:14. We'll see you upstairs. And then I think Gabe.